We're heading to one of Canada's busiest French-speaking cities. We're gonna create, eat some good food, and meet one of my favorite characters north of the border. Come along for Art Life Montreal. Thank you so much for watching. Just a few things before we get started. Hit that subscribe and that like button so you don't miss any future episodes. Also, leave a comment below, let me know what's on your mind, and I'll personally read and respond. And enter to win one of my original paintings, text Art Life to 58885. Now, let's get into this Art Life episode. When you think of Canada, you may think of maple syrup, moose, Justin Bieber, hockey. When I think of Canada, I think of someone I would describe as the Warhol of the optical world. Although I would even be skeptical of defining such an eccentric creative character. We stop by to meet one of Canada's most well-known exports of the streetwear fashion world. So let's meet Corey Shapiro, founder of Vintage Frames. So we just walked in, I'm already in optical heaven right now. Obviously I'm a, I wear my glasses, these are a prescription and uh, it's pretty incredible what uh, Corey has built here with vintage frames. Here at the Vintage Frames headquarters of Corey. The infamous. Oh, these are free? <laughs> this is how we. Uh, you know what these are for? Uh, <laughs> when you masturbate a lot, this is to make sure that. <laughs> hey! So maybe you need okay. it. Okay, I'm gonna top you off. You want We just met with Corey Shapiro, the founder of Vintage Frames. He's also got another spot called Notorious. Uh, man, what a cool guy. I mean, you walk into Vintage Frames, it feels like the optical gods have descended on this building in the room and dropped off everything that is eclectic and artistic. And uh, man, he was so hospitable and welcoming. On top of meeting him today, I will be coming back tomorrow to create him some art. So that'll be interesting and fun with, uh, we'll call him the Andy Warhol of optics. Let's go eat. So we asked Corey Shapiro, where should we eat? What is unique to here in Montreal? And he said, you don't have to go far, go right across the street to Cho. So that's where we're gonna go eat right now. A Corey from across the street sent us here. He's like, you gotta, you gotta eat here. He's like, you've never been here before. <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm so about this. I'm so about this. What'd you order? We pretty much ordered almost every bow on the menu, uh, which I'm totally cool with. They How did that make you feel? They, they said that we ordered that we would have ordered too many bows, but I'm up for the challenge. Let's see if we can eat the whole bow menu. Let's see. Yeah, so awesome. Another, another great dish here. Okay. I'm about that life. You see, you see what I did there? I did the 
they're eating, they're eating the bows. So we are here with Corey Shapiro, Vintage Frames. That's the stuff. It, you, it, the, the energy is infectious here. Like, it's like, I mean, how would you describe like how you even you know who you are? I don't know, man. I just, I, you know, the only thing I think my dad ever said to me that made not these bad person. He's not. He's very involved in my life, so <laughs> it shouldn't come out wrong. But um, the only thing he ever really said to me that was like, you know, um, kind of resonated all the time was, you know, do you want to be, you know, right or do you want to be happy? And I was like, well, fuck. You know, we usually never write, so let's work on you know, <laughs> being happy. So we did, you know, I designed this like company around um, being able to come to work and being excited about whatever the fuck we do. Mm -hmm. And um, some days we don't know what we're doing, or some days we do. And but it's just, you know, when we walk into this environment, this is our environment, mm -hmm. and um, we're happy with whatever it is. Yeah. And we just, you know, like to create things, and we've been able to express our artistic side through art through our lenses and through our frames and stuff like that when we're not technical and drawing and all that type of stuff. So we've created a world where we can express our art through the ways where we are uh, capable with our respective motor skills. You know, I'm always curious, so I'm from Sacramento, mm -hmm. California, like what I do is very different from where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Usually people paint landscapes and yeah. trees and water. Yeah. And so part of my environment that inspired me was I've got to make my own way. Mm -hmm. And so that's Me how too. I kind of ended up as an individual. How do you feel like Montreal inspired your journey? Anyway? Um, you know, Montreal has a lot of adversity. Diversity, but adversity. It's a hard city to make it. And you know, we use it as a home base because the quality of life is uncomparable to anywhere else. To live here the way I want to live. Well, besides the snow. Yeah, the snow sucks. But, you know, it's cool if you have, like to do things with the snow. That's true. But, um, yeah, we just... Figured a cool way to do things. What's up, man? You're good. Um, yeah, just kind of living life. So uh, yesterday, based on our conversations, I think we thought of something to yes. create. We're not going to tell you. We're going to have to watch right. it. Yes. But it, I think it just goes to show, like, who he is. You know, the right. man behind the lens and the frames. And I think it's, uh, you know, a testament to like what your dad yeah, said. Do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? Just want to be happy. So let's go create something. Let's do this. Let's go. Yesterday, Corey and I had a, a creative meeting of the minds. It was uh, it was pretty crazy, pretty cool. But uh, with that said, now there's a blank canvas behind me. I am ready to paint, and uh, we're gonna create something inspired by Corey and his art life. Let's go. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sweating, which means the painting is done. So, Corey, who is this? Who is this? This is, this is, my, this is my little boy. I almost started crying when you were doing it. <laughs> this, is my, this is my little boy, Cash. The Abbot. So, we got one down. One down. One to go. One to go. Man, my kids have like regular school portraits. He's got pop portraits. Yeah, you know. That's pretty dope. We're all, pretty dope. We're all, we're all different. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll draw a picture of your kids. So. I, yeah. <laughs> please, don't, please, don't, please don't do that. <laughs> All right.
dans ce Corey Shapiro. On est à Montréal et ça c'est Art Life. I think it's pretty safe to say that creators come in all shapes and forms and come from all parts of the world. The one thing that we bond together on is that we want to get ideas from our heads and our hearts out into this world. It really felt like just two artists getting together and creating in our own respective forms. His was vintage frames, mine was paint. But in somehow we find this connection through what we create and what we respect of each other. I would say this, that meetings like this push me to want to keep pushing the limit to what I do every day as a, as a creator in my own right. And hopefully inspiring and wanting to connect with even more creators. This was such an exciting experience here in Montreal. I mean, not only did we get to connect with the creator, we got to eat some good food, but now it's time to perform. Thank you so much for watching this Art Life episode. I'm David Garibaldi. If you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button or you can always hit the like button here on this page. Here at Art Life, we always live by one rule, and that is that life is for living.